Then they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him, and two others with him, one on either side and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Then many of the Jews read this title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Therefore the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but he said I am the King of the Jews. What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts, to each soldier a part, and also the tunic. Now the tunic was without seam, woven from the top in one piece. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be. That the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, they divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Therefore the soldiers did these things. <laughs> now they stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold, your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. His mother. Well, how can you prove it? Hey. She is his mother. Go, dear. Behold your son.
Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over all the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice. Hello. Lama. Sephakani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood there when they heard that said, This man is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine and put it on a reed, and offered it to him to drink. Let him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, <laughs> and yielded up his spirit. Then, behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth quaked, and the rocks were split, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. So when the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake, and the things that had happened, they feared greatly. Truly, this was the Son of God. And many women who followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, were there, looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joses, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. saved others. Why can't he save himself now? Listen. Listen, he's calling on the prophet Elijah. No, he's not calling Elijah. He's quoting the scriptures. Even now, nailed to the cross, he quotes the scriptures. Even now. He was despised and rejected of men, man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearer is done. Surely. He hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was abused for our iniquities. And through his wounds, we are healed.
into thy hands. I commit my spirit. It is Blood, 
Now when evening had come, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who himself had also become a disciple of Jesus. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be given to him. When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. And Mary Magdalene was there and the other Mary sitting opposite the tomb. On the next day, which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered together to Pilate. Sir, we remember while he was still alive how that deceiver said, After three days I will rise. Therefore, command that the tomb be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say to the people, He has risen from the dead. So the last deception will be worse than the first. You have a guard. Go your way. Make it as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard.
Why is this night not like any other night? Where is my son? The slave is freed from the shackles of sin. At last it has begun. Adonai, many surround me. Adonai, they seek my life. Oh, Abba, please take this cup, not my will, but thine be done. See, I am making all things new. Heart of my heart, let me die. The son of your hand. I hear your heart beating ever near. I know you must be here. When, where, or how will you deliver yourself? My soul trembles with fear. My heart is ready, the hour has come. I feel the scourges rend my flesh, and I cry. I am a worm, not a man. I give my blood for them. See, I am making all things new. Scarce can soak the blood. I must reach you, though my heart won't go on. My son, I am here. See, I am making all things new. Heart of my heart, let me die. Dice for what I lived, your strength is all but gone. Abba, they stretch me out, they nail my hands and feet. Please forgive them, they know not what they do. Abba, Abba, they do not know. Behold your mother, behold your son. Here I still stand. Flesh of my flesh and heart of my heart, I say yes again. My 
God, my God, why do you abandon me? Ah, ah, how I thirst, I finish all you commanded me. Ah,